Okay, people, so this is either completely idiotic or completely genius. What I've done is I've taken pans out of my team. Yes, pans. I know it's crazy. Um, and hoist door right back in if this just isn't working. But the bottom line is I just did over 130 million DPS with my DK on his S1. Why? Well... I a tend him, um, and I put all pure attack runes on him before I had pen runes on him, um, and uh, I put Lav in the mix. She instantly is giving him 75% crit dam right out of the gate, if I can actually fire bear up off, if. It makes him immune to damage and gives him another 50% plus 15% of her crit, which is low because I took all of her crit gear off. Um, she is giving a bit of crit from her runes, but I'm honestly thinking about buying this rune slot for the 500 and putting pure mana attack recovery so that I have a higher chance of firing off bear up. But she's got enough MP recovery now that, plus she's got this here, the percentage and the attack, that I should be able to fire that off. And that right there is going to reduce their crit resistance another 300. It's going to give him 2,400 crit penetration, crit chance, excuse me. So, let's see what happens. I have no idea if that was a fluke. I really wish I was recording. Um, or if I just discovered a way to finally wipe Clive's Lori. So, oh, I had her on the Christmas tree, but I realized that was a pointless venture because she has to fire Bear up for that Christmas tree to do anything. So I thought, oh... Why don't I do this? I used to do this on Audi, right? Where you reduce their crit chance and their attack by 15%. This does the highest attack opponent by 15% and gives DK another 10% attack. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's something. Um, I don't want to put a helm. I have to be hit three times. This team shouldn't be getting hit three times. Should be getting... Never. He should just wipe everything on that initial swipe. So, if I can get Bear Up off, though, it may keep my little Kamikaze DK alive. So that's why I'm thinking, put all those MP recovery runes on her. Maybe even put the Soul Spring, because, like Jackachu was pointing out, I don't need to be firing off her cleanse right out of the gate. So... Another option would just be put Radiance on her and take the Heart of the Abyss artifact off, throw this Soul Spring on Lav for a higher likelihood of firing off her Bear Up skill, and boom. So her attack, you'd seen it in another video, was 500,000. And she has no attack lines at all on any of the gear, but she did have runes that had attack lines. So I went ahead and bought the other slot, and I have now got my Juno on MP re recovery slash attack. Um, so that should be an interesting, uh, an interesting experiment there as well. Just tinkering, that's all. Let's see what happens. Holy shit. Of all people, it's you, Jack. My little guinea pig. That's kind of funny. All right, here we go. That is completely random. You're going to like watching this video when you see I was just talking about you, and then we happen to be the first battle. That's funny. Well, you bonded him, so that's not good.
Wow, what the hell? He's doing damage. Wow, you even bonded. My dude, Jack. Anyway, <laughs> that was an experimental team, too. Anyway, so clearly it has potential. Obviously, I didn't get that 140-something million, but wow.